It's time for Commonwealth Common Sense with Susan Stimson and Kevin Shola. Hey, Susan. Welcome back. Kevin, nice to be here. So what's happening? Barack Obama, I guess, up to his old tricks that continue to just uh, move forward here in Washington, unfortunately. What's the latest? Well, just the changes overall every single day. We never know what law the president is going to change just by decree from his throne. I wish that he would show the same type of aggression toward people who are not our friends, such as Vladimir Putin, but instead he's only aggressive here in his own country with his own constitution and not so much for those who are doing grabs of power in other countries. Yeah, I mean, the Constitution is supposed to kind of mean something, not be a suggestion, right? Right, and we're supposed to set the example and have set the example for a couple of hundred years, or maybe in Sheila Jackson's terms, 400 years, as she thought that the Constitution has been in effect for 400 <laughs> years. But certainly America has set the standard for what a free society uh, can do and how successful it can be, and I just watch the actions of President Obama here in our country, and I see him just really now, it's not even a slow evaporation, it's just a quick grab of power from the presidency, and not so much when it comes to other foreign leaders, such as Vladimir Putin, who is basically taking over another country, and President Obama goes on vacation. You know, you notice some of the candidates that Sarah Palin has already endorsed here in the 2014 cycle, and they may differ in certain ways, come from different backgrounds, but, you know, that protection of the Constitution, that seems to be pretty uniform and something she cares so much about, and I don't think you get an endorsement from her if you don't pass that litmus test. I think you're right, and I think certainly over the last few years, you've you've seen a, a shaping of Sarah Palin as a national figure, and you still see the same consistency, though, in the message and the truth and the principles that she has you know, espoused since 2008. She has become uh, quite laser-focused, though, and I think funny in the way that she can poke a little fun and poke a little humor at some of her uh, opponents. Well, I mean, when you and I were sitting there at CPAC a couple of weeks ago, you know, what did she say when she was up there, right? He's the lamest of lame ducks at president. And, you know, if we get some of these people elected that will follow the Constitution and stop some of this behavior, at least that will handcuff him until he's finally out of there. Yes, I just wish that he would have the same type of aggressive approach here, um, you know, with our with our enemies that we can see who are doing power grabs across the world and, and not quite be so aggressive against the Constitution in our own country. All right, Susan. Well said. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Kevin.